Namaste. In this video, we will see how to use ChatGPT for lesson planning. Search ChatGPT in Google. If you don't know the website, then go to this website. Remember the icon. If you see, there are many other uh, website will appear, but just see carefully the address and just go to the ChatGPT. This is the ChatGPT. Then try on ChatGPT. ChatGPT is artificial intelligence which help us to answer the different questions to create the, some content whatever is required. So there are two modes which can use to make use of ChatGPT services. One we can log in, we can create the login with uh, with our email ID and then we can log in or we can stay logged out. I think it is safe to stay logged out uh, position so it cannot track us, you cannot identify us but still we can use the services of ChatGPT. If you log in, all the history that you have uh, searched or the may or the use that you have made that can be seen in the history. If you are not logged in then that history is not visible to anyone else. Now this is how the ChatGPT window appears. There are certain uh, examples are given. This is the prompt box where we can type our prompt. Prompt means what exactly we want to create by using the chat GPT. So for that purpose as a teacher we should be ready with these prompts. Prompts mean what exactly we are we are looking for uh, the uh, from the chat GPTs. For example I have created few of the prompt already that help me to create a lesson plan for teaching of Newton's law of motion. Now I am copying this and this prompt so if these prompts are ready so you can make use uh, effective use of your chat gpt services uh, pasted now let us see and i'm clicking over here within a second is starting the whole lesson plans of newton's law of motion you'll see it's very systematic material needed then lesson time duration then lesson outline like first 10 minutes for uh, introduction then first law second law everything is given the activities are mentioned assessment are mentioned and special notes are mentioned now as a teacher we should not accept as it is whatever we receive from the chat GPT we need to modify it we need to customize it in uh, as per knowing the requirement of our class I think teachers are the best who knows what a student exactly requires so modify this plan and carry out this plan so uh, just uh, you can simply make copy and you can paste in uh, word file anywhere like see the second what are the some engaging activities for uh, teaching fractions middle school student now i'm cop i have copied this i am pasting again here so this is pasted now let's see how it will prepare a plan See whole lesson plan is appearing and there are different kind of lesson plan that is presented by chat GPT. It is created by chat GPT. As a teacher we should uh, consider this input as a raw input or raw plan for us. Just try to think whatever is suggested. Do not apply as it is. Just see the requirement, the previous knowledge, the abilities of our student, the interest of our student and according to that accept few of those ideas and try to implement it in our uh, uh, lessons. So customization is very important thing and whenever you are using any artificial intelligence do not accept as it is because this AI is not thinking itself. It is designed by some programmers, some software engineers and they uh, their their thinking is reflecting in this uh, uh, ai so not necessary it should be applicable to your classroom so the, consider these plans as a raw plans work on it properly and then try to implement effectively by understanding the requirements of your class